Despite its fast-paced lifestyle and built-up facade, Singapore is home to a diverse array of wild creatures. Many of them are unique to Singapore. It is our responsibility to be good stewards of nature and even better neighbours to these animals as we aspire to become a city in nature. You've seen them on many viral videos, our cute otter neighbours exploring the city. Otters have always been native to Singapore. However, they were believed to have gone extinct in the 1960s. At that time, most of your original habitat was destroyed, with the Singapore River and Kalang Basin becoming too polluted. Miraculously, otters returned to Singapore in the 1990s after the rivers were cleaned up. What else do you know about our very popular neighbours? Well, Singapore is home to two species of otters. The ones that can be found on mainland are known as the smooth-coated otters. But did you know that we have a community of Asian small cod otters that can be found on Pulau Ubin? They are the smallest species of otters in the world. Smooth-coated otters are highly adaptable. They can survive in areas such as freshwater wetlands, mangroves and even saltwater coastal habitats. They've learned to live alongside humans using urban infrastructures such as canals, ladders and even staircases to get around. Kind of like our friendly neighbourhood Spidey. But instead of shh, it is shh, shh, yeah. The otter's diet in Singapore consists mostly of fish, but sometimes they do enjoy feeding on shrimps, frogs and snails. Mmm, escargot, fancy. Did you know that the young otters are extremely playful? The next time you spot an otter family, do keep a lookout for a little baby otter juggling small rocks. If you witness a dramatic fight among otters, do not panic. This is all part of their natural behaviour to fight with other families over territory. Observe them from a distance and watch the final showdown where one family drives away the other to emerge victorious. Otters living alongside humans in a city is unique to Singapore. Researchers come all the way to Singapore just to study our otters. Aww, otters are so cute! They must be really friendly, right? No. Otters may seem lovable and playful, but they are still wildlife. That means they are especially protective of their pups. The admiration is not exactly mutual. However, if you do get some curious otters entering your property, hire a contractor to install fencing without any gaps so that the otters cannot slip through. And also, ensure that the fencing is high enough so that they are not able to jump over it. When you encounter otters, appreciate them from a distance. Keep your voices low. Do not corner them or walk between a mother and her pups. If you have a dog with you, keep your dog on a tight leash to prevent it from chasing the otters. It is illegal to feed wildlife in Singapore, so please do not feed our otters as your act of kindness will affect their natural eating habits that keep our ecosystem healthy. Let's continue to appreciate our charismatic Singapore otters. They belong here and we must learn to coexist with our beautiful neighbours. If you see any otters in distress or injured, do call the Acres hotline. Remember, wild animals are not pests. Visit acres.org.sg to learn more.